can get it. Oh, I'm gonna get bit. They're boiling right in front of me. Oh, backflip right there. Look at him go. Oh, I'm on. Yes. Oh, yeah. They're all legals, too. Dude, Let me come under you and bounce this. Oh, he's on. Oh. He's on. oh. oh my God. Oh, bump. Got him. Oh, you go, I told you. Smaller guy. Ah, he's kind of big. Oh, they're all over right there. What's going on, fishing fam? Ray Sharifi here with the Dirty Hookers. And today we're doing a catch and cook with a fish that's kind of looked at as a trash fish in Southern California. And the reason for that is because they're stinky, they're smelly, they're slimy. Everyone calls them slime sticks, smelly sticks, whatever you want to call them, that's their nicknames. And their meat does tend to get mushy really, really fast. But my family and I have learned that this is personally our favorite meat to use fish tacos. You gotta do it right though, you gotta bleed them. Put them on ice, take care of your meat really, really well. And the fish I'm talking about is barracuda. We're out on the Cobra today. Got wide open kudas, all you can catch on the surface iron. Super fun fish, they pull hard, they fight, they wanna eat the jig. Visual fishing, can't beat it. And they taste great when they're done right. As you can see, we got a lot more in there as well. Had a phenomenal day catching them out there. Uh, these were just a couple of the ones that we kept. We kept what we wanted. I'm gonna flay this up real quick and then we'll see you in the kitchen. So, real quick, kudas are super easy to flay. Right here behind the peck fin. Just one quick slice there. You just run your knife all the way down. The first half is a little difficult just because of the size of the rib cage, but after you get past that rib cage and out of those bones, your knife should just glide all the way down, just like that. Nice white meat, kind of popped the uh, bladder there, but that's fine, all that's gonna get cut out anyways. And just flip it over, do the same process, right here, again, behind the peck fin. Slice down, and run your knife, right, again that, right against that backbone, all the way to the tail. Like I said, once you get out of that rib meat, your knife should just glide against that backbone pretty smoothly. There you have two great, nice fillets of barracuda. All I gotta do now is skin them, and then we're gonna go ahead and see you in the kitchen. So stay tuned, it's gonna be good. Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Cooking with Chef Eddie. We're about to make some barracuda fish tacos topped with pink sauce and mango pico de gallo. So here we have our pink sauce. Here's our mango pico de gallo. Here is our fish batter that we're using, pre-made coleslaw that we're gonna add as a filler, limes and lemons, and the barracudas. That's it, let's get to it, and let's go ahead and make some barracuda tacos. I've got my oil heating up. That's gonna take about a good 10 minutes or so to heat up, so while we're doing that, let's go ahead and make the batter. Pre-bought store batter. Secret for me, I'm gonna use seltzer water. Club soda, anything fizzy, that's gonna give it light, airy taste. You can use beer, I just don't want that beer flavor. Just want something simple and easy. I have a shaker with a little bit of ice that I'm gonna pour this seltzer into to kind of chill it as I pour it in there. I want this nice and cold so it'll adhere to the fish a little bit better. What we're looking for when we make this is we're looking for like a pancake-like texture. Go ahead and pour it in here. All right, almost half of a bottle. I'm not gonna dump it all in there at one time because just remember less is more. It's always better to add less and then come back and add more to it um, let's give it a nice little shake just to kind of get a little bit cold. Let's go ahead and get, we got our spoon here. 
let's just go ahead and add to it. I'm gonna add a pretty good size pour right there. You can see I added about half the bottle. Now I'm gonna give it a good stir. You can see it's already starting to take up that moisture, get really clumpy. Let's go ahead and add a little bit more. The remainder liquid that's in that bottle is gonna to continue to get cold with that ice cube that's in there, so that's gonna be good for us. Right now it's about at a texture. If you've ever made homemade biscuits, it's about that texture right there. So we're not, we're about halfway there. Let's go ahead and add some more. So you can kind of see it's getting a little wet and we're gonna go ahead and just keep on mixing. This should take about two to three minutes to get all together. If you want a good gauge on where you're at right now, take your spoon. That's coming out way too thick. Right there, it's almost like a gravy. So I still have about a quarter of a bottle left. Let's go ahead and pour some more. You see, I didn't do all of it. I'm just adding a little bit. A little goes a long way. Starting to loosen up here. Let's do that spoon test. You can see it's kind of coming out a lot quicker. I'm just gonna drizzle some taco seasoning, season to taste. I'm gonna add to it, it's not gonna hurt it. It's not very much. I'm gonna drizzle a little bit of garlic salt. Again, it's its own preference. And then I'm gonna do a little wedge of a lime. Just give a little bit of a lime flavor. Let's mix it up. Give the spoon test. That's like pancake batter, that's perfect, that's what we want. Put this off to the side here, guys. Next, we have our mango pico de gallo. This is store-bought. Bought it at Bonds. I bought two containers of it. To this, I added quarter bushel of cilantro, finely chopped, two jalapenos, diced it all up, mixed it all in there together, and I added my taco seasoning, my garlic salt, and my cumin. That's it. That's all I added to it. Mix it all together, put it in the fridge for about an hour so it would get nice and cold. And I let it all, let all the juices and flavors mirror together. Um, they're gonna play nice in the sandbox. This is gonna be a great addition to your fish taco. All right, so the next ingredient, which is gonna be the top part of your taco is the pink sauce. What I'm gonna do guys is I'm gonna see what kind of comments I get from this. If you wanna look, know how I actually made that, we'll make a separate video for it. But a quick rundown is just, it's basically Mexican crema or thinned out sour cream, chipotle peppers and adobe sauce, seasonings of your choice. These are my go-tos right here and a sweetening agent of agave and some citrus. So like I mentioned guys, we're gonna add this on here to it. If you like it and you wanna know more about it and you want a separate video on how to make it, let us know. We'll go ahead and make that for you guys. So my oil's nice and hot right now. And just to make sure your oil's ready, what I do is like, I always get into like the shells that I'm gonna use and you always have some broken tortilla shells. Strip off a little bit of the corn tortilla. Let's drop it in our oil. And what we're looking for is a float. So you can see it's going down the bottom and we wanna see if it's kind of bubbling and it's gonna float up. So that's what we're looking for there. I'm gonna kind of kick up the heat just a little bit there because I came up a little slower than what I want. So what I'm gonna do here, I've got my barracuda and I've got my mixture that you saw me make here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go ahead and dump a couple of fillets in here. And you can kind of see guys what I've done. They're about two fingers wide, okay? I'm gonna dump a couple of those in there. And because I don't like getting my hands all like ooey gooey, Got myself a trusty fork. Remember how many pieces you get in there because sometimes you'll forget and they'll get lost in the shuffle in there. So I've got ahead, got it in here. Take some of the excess off, graze it along your glass bowl, and then let's go ahead and, and drop it in. You can kind of see right now that it's, it's heading to the bottom, but it's starting to bubble. So that's another good sign that it's gonna go ahead and start cooking and it's gonna cook real fast. Let's go ahead and drop another one in there. Again, take some of that excess off. Let's go ahead and drop it in. And repeat the cycle. All right, guys, so these guys have been playing in the pool here for about five minutes, and they're all floating nice and good. That's a sign that they're ready. So let's go ahead and take them out. Make sure you have a nice spatula, spoon of some sort, where a lot of the oil can drain out. I'm gonna put it on, transfer it onto a plate with the napkin. That way it absorbs the oil. 
Be careful you don't push down on the filet because they're really juicy and on the inside. If you were to push hard on it and then crack open, the moisture and the water mixed with the oil, it'll splat right in your face. So make sure you don't do that. So I'm gonna put these here for a second. What I wanna do is I wanna get some salt on it right when it comes out, okay? I'm gonna go ahead and drop a tortilla for me and Ray. We're gonna do one flour, one corn. Okay, got that going on. And then I'm gonna drop another four fillets um, that are in there. So that way those will start cooking as we start making the next round. So this is in real time right now. The four fillets that I dropped in there, they're still cooking. So you can kind of see that that's still going on here. Got the flour tortilla and the corn tortilla. I'm gonna go flour. So to this, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go a little opposite. I'm gonna take my cabbage, little pinch here on the bottom. I don't need much. Take one nice filet, nice and airy. I'm gonna go ahead, add my mango pico. I'm gonna go ahead and let that have some fun right in there. We're gonna go ahead and add some of this pink sauce right here. I'm gonna do a nice little drizzle. And a fish taco is not a fish taco in my opinion, with a little squeeze of lime. Barracuda fish taco at its finest. Come on, man. That's semi-homemade. You can't tell me that's not money. Let's go ahead and give it a taste. It's really good. It's so good. You get that, that nice texture, the nice crunch of the fish, and then that sweetness of that mango pico, a little bit of heat in there. Oh my God, this stuff is really good. I'm gonna go ahead and take one more bite take the camera away from Ray and I'm gonna let him make his and let's see what he thinks of his. I'm going with a corn tortilla. Dad did it backwards. I'm gonna go fish first. Throw some cabbage on there for that extra crunch. Mango pico for that sweet and spicy. Throw some pink sauce on there. Can't go too much with this. This is freaking phenomenal sauce right here. Everybody that we've brought over for fish taco nights that has tried the pink sauce, they want the recipe, everyone loves it. No complaints from anybody with this stuff. It's not a taco without a lemon or a lime on there. Good little squeeze on there, going in. Yeah. I'm telling you guys, I know that I've we've already said it a couple of times, but the pink sauce, it makes it. It's really, really good. Big shout out to Mike Socek, Tanner Socek. Honestly, we also used to look at barracudas as trash fish because their meat gets mushy. Benito are the same way. They have a lot, a lot of oil in their meat and it, it causes the meat to get really mushy. So after like two days, it's almost no good to eat. And we pr pretty much gave up on both those fish. We didn't want to keep them anymore. Thanks to Mike Socek. He told us, cook them within 48 hours. If you can, within 24 hours or day of. If you properly bled it, throw it right on ice. Kept the meat cold until you have the chance to, to cook it up. It's gonna be the best fish tacos you ever had. And they were right. These are the best fish tacos we've ever had. And we've loved Barracuda ever since. So big shout out to you guys, seriously. We love Barracuda because of you. That's all we got today. That's another episode of Cooking with Chef Eddie. I hope you guys go out there and try it. You will not be disappointed. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. I hope you guys all try it. I'm looking forward to what you all have to see. And that, I'm gonna say cheers and thank you for watching. Cheers, guys.